fix some crystal light type of uh, um, eggs with some cheese and some um, salt and pepper. I microwave it for about three minutes. I use the sodium free spray that I got from the Rite Aid store a while ago. And I kind of mix it up with this fork and then made it into like a kind of a scrambled eggs with an omelet cheese. There are two slices of Borden's. I microwave it with a piece of wax paper around it so I can just throw it out instead of washing the lid. This is one of my corningware things that I got from my mother a while ago. Now I had my decaffeinated coffee and I had my and all my vitamins, high blood pressure, etc. And um, I changed my shirt and I changed my sock. Well, this is now the 17th of January on a Thursday. It was there on the 15th that I saw my podiatrist around noontime. So right now, it has been a uh, lesson. I guess you'd say about 24 hours. So, this is very good breakfast here. Um, as you can see, it's almost like a cheese omelet in a way. And that's pretty good. So, right now, it's about, now you can plainly see over there, or maybe you can't, it says 10.46. 10.47 and over here it also says the same time hard to see that though but my watch you might be able to see there it says 10.47 and that's a finger hut thing it says 13.17 so that's pretty good the old guy's rule I put some of my vanilla or whatever to cool my decaffeinated coffee off. And I had just some of the um, Rouse unsweetened type of a vanilla flavor. So that's a pretty good start for a breakfast. Mmm. Right in there. So anyway, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Tired of the heat. Not supposed to talk for your mouthful. So anyway, I guess I. Now I'm making some kind of a malta meal over here, and I double the recipe for the microwave instruction. I forgot to add the salt, though. I guess I could. Because I said it for only one minute, though. So, when it goes ding, I add the one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So, I just put it on pause. Like that. So, anyway, I add the salt with this here. Because it says to cook for about one to two minutes. So this is one quarter since I doubled the recipe. Now I can put it back in. Like that. So then we cook again for another minute. Like that. Well, you can see this is breakfast time. I was invited on this date. My computer's way back in my master bedroom. So it's kind of spinning around. It says for one to two minutes. Let's see. I think that might have been for a single recipe. However, when the water and everything heats up, well, it doesn't matter. It says you can add half of the water can be substituted with milk. So it says microwave one two minutes or more and stirring 
well, every 30 seconds. Well, this is a double recipe. It might take a little more a minute or so. So then I'll just go here like that. And we'll put it on pause again. Well, we stirred it a little bit, so we'll go again for another minute, I guess. See, now it goes in the reverse direction, is what I recall. So, I probably have my coffee. Maybe I can pour some of it in, too. That'd make it pretty good. I can put this away. I can even add some of the other type of things there. I have all these little ones too. Oh, this is a. Let's see, this is a. This is a one half teaspoon. And right down here, I think I have the eighth. I think this is an eighth teaspoon. No, this is a quarter. Now they're all there. I know this is running again. Ugh. Error, so we go here. But finally, dinged again. Let's see how well it look. I think it might look pretty good. It's kind of hot though. So I think this time we'll put on. Because I need my elbow gloves over there. Jerry was saying something about steak. And that's what I'm poking right now. A Salisbury steak. The stover's right. Original Suffer's Recipe. Well, kind of yicky there, but I find the code. It says to cook on high for five and a half minutes. However, I like to do three and then two and a half. It does total up to five and a half minutes. And then you let stand complete the cooking, as I have right here, a one minute timer. So, when you do it with a real oven, Preheat. Move them about, cut the film, the bent. Place them there for 35 minutes. Why, right, that's a long time, would you say? And carefully remove. Let stand on the baking the same thing. And then there are here. There's Nestle, whatever. See, there's silver and there's Nestle USA. And it took two resets of my computer. And there it goes ding. That's just the first time. But now I put it in for two and a half minutes like that. Two and thirty seconds. It's easy to do, really. And this is my favorite spoon right here. I already had some malt in the meal. Put it away and clean my glass over here. It's a glass bowl, you see. I had some um some eggs yesterday, so I like to mix and match what I have. But then, see now it's cooking. And my favorite spoon is over here. And that's where we put my favorite spoon, right over here. Put this over here like that. Oh, crap over here. So I put my favorite spoon right there like that. That's my favorite spoon. I'm getting some more. Fingerhead called me yesterday again. Around breakfast time. Well, there's a hangout. Around noon time, it will be around 3 p.m. in the East Coast. I can't be everywhere, can I? So you press 1. I have this open just a little bit. So it can vent around. There's a window. So I have that going there. And then when it's almost hot, this is a nutcracker suite. He was asking what that music was. Oh, and I give some presents or whatever. I said I might have the shortbread. I think it's in there. I don't know. Well, let me put it down there. I can't remember really. So, see, this is on for two and a half minutes, and it says press for one. So when it does it, then I guess I'll. Well, I'll just put it on pause or whatever. And I have that going for one minute and this and that. 
Now I have some some ketchup and whatever I put some uh, pepper on that there. So when it's finished, then I have to frickin' start over here. No, that's a nutcracker sweet, really. Tchaikovsky, whatever. And that's pretty really good music to listen to. So when it goes ding here, ding ding, you see it's 11.22. So I press the start on like that. And it's a countdown timer. Uh, 58, whatever. So then I guess I'll put it on. Uh, I guess that's about good. See, it's counting down. It's like a countdown. 45, 44, 43, 42, 8! Whatever, see, it's 11 through 23. It's one time for heaven's sake. Everything almost synchronized. 11, 23, 11, whatever. And I guess I'll put it on. Stop. Right out there, so whatever. See, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see the percentage of sodium is, that's a pretty good in, in protein, and the sodium is 48%. I haven't had much of my sodium, I had my high blood pressure, I had my cinnamon pop tart, whatever. So now it's going to go ding, see? And it says cooking time, and cooking time, in. So we go cancel, like that. Then uh, we'll be removing it, putting a little of the stuff on. We'll rip the top off and put it there. Right. You know, I'm so then I just uh, put it on. A little bit of lunch. I have my cinnamon pop tarts and I've set them up already. Uh, the instructions say here, hook up for four and a half minutes. Instead of, I think it says remove the cover, I do not. I use this little knife that I got a long time ago has the 99 cent store way down whichever direction that would be I think over there somewhere back down there so I cut around and I put it here like this see I put the cook time for four and a half minutes it has a timer already, as it says. Let's see in the microwave. Carefully move tray the microwave and enjoy. Oh, it's kind of hopping, whatever. As you can see, this does have some carrots and some peas and celery and some mushrooms, too. It's the escalloped chicken and noodles. And then it goes ding. And I go for another four minutes, though. As it says over here, eight and a half minutes. Four eleven. So I just put the four on here like that. And it continues the cooking, as you can see, four. It was four and a half minutes. Now that makes four. So then let's stand in microwave one minute. That's what it's going to do. See, it's almost... Time for lunch, as you can plainly see, is 10.58. So when it's almost finished, then I will press start. Have all my seasoning here. For a while, I, I got this a long time ago from the Rite Aid store. It's uh, instructors at Swivels and store. I have a uh, lemon pepper some of this garlic too, and some of the seasoning from the rousor. So it's still cooking, as you can plainly see. So I think I'll just put it on pause for a second or so, like that. Here we go again. It's still thing, as you can plainly see. And I get the code as I write it down here. It's that code, so. I'll put it over here. I write the code in. I used to put space in here like that. You see, it's still cooking. About two minutes ago. So I go here like this. I put this here like that. 
as a G, 9, C, and P, K, D. As an X, R, and Y, and J, W, C. I go is scallop, chick, noodle. And that's about it. So I put this pin here like... I put it in here. There like that. Then I'll go over here like that. Put it over here like that. And I get bored. I have plenty right now. I have some tea. It's almost ready to go again. As you can see, 54, 52, 51, 54, 89. Uh, oh, there it goes ding. I cut my finger, so I had to put some of the bandy on. So when it goes ding, I press the start. Almost ready. 28, 29, 25. Launch! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I press the start. It's a timer. Press the start. I wait. So it goes ding, and I press the start. Then I think I'll put some ketchup on too. I'll go down there and maybe I'll put some of the other stuff on. I have a type of thing here. There we go. Now it goes ding. And I press this here to start. Timer. 59, 58, whatever. Hike. So we go here again. Now put it on pause. Well, there like that. Now it had gone ding. Whatever. Now I put this here like that. I set it over here like that. This is what I got from my friend. And then this will be today's date. And now Saturday. They come on Saturday to Sunday. See, I receive things on UPS and FedEx. I receive that bread box. Pretty good. See, I just pull up my head. See the seal there. Um, whatever there. So that's a gold medal. Since it's really food, there's no tax. 100% Martinelli's. 8 point food. Whatever. Well, that's pretty good. So, I guess I'll come over here like that. Now I'll put it on pause again. So now, I remove it like this. Now, I'll put it on pause again. We can kind of continue. I remove this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I kind of just take this here like that. And I get, um, uh, here. Whatever. And then I, get, and then I drop it right down like that. And I have my seasoning over here. So we'll do a little lemon pepper, you see? Because it is chicken, you see. So we'll stop there, spices, and lemon pepper. See, it's basically for chicken and white. So it's pretty good. There's whatever. I put the lemon pepper here like that. Whatever, just a little bit. And then, then maybe a little bit of garlic too, and some seasoning as well. Let's see, we'll put the seasoning sauce a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, we doing this with one hand. See, I cut my finger there. I just bend it up again. Mmm. 
And then we put some of the garlic on too. Then I have the height ketchup. That'll go off too. And then we go over here like this. And then we have the a little of the garlic. Mm -hmm. And then here we go again. And then we put this here too. Like that. And then we come over here like that. And then we see we can twist this like that. And then we put this here like that. This is well in store. I got it on the right. So. Now that's pretty good. Now, again, I put it on pause with the hat. Now, as you can see, I squirted some of this on there too. That cools it down. As you can see, it is really the hot time. So then I'll put this over here like that. Right about where I had it. And maybe I'll put some of the other things in here. Put it down here like that. Then I'll again put it on pause again. Then I'll come over here and look at me like that. Then I'll put it on pause right here. So I'm going to put that in my other thing. I'll go like, I guess I'll just put it on top. So I think about that. Maybe I'll mix it up with the seasoning and the ketchup. Doesn't that look good? Yummy. See, it does have some carrots, some celery. I put the seasoning salt and it has chicken in there, so I put the lemon pepper. And I put some of that Martinelli's in here. Shut the front door. You can barely see it there. As it says, shut the front door. And I go here like this. Yummy. So then I'll put it on 